Alrighty, welcome back. It's that time of the month. Oh boy, it's been like a long time. Well, I say a long time, but maybe four months for Arcane Odyssey. But we got this update stacked in. So, Empire's update is coming out tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know if I want to upload this video, but since update's here, I feel like we're kind of committed here. And like, I I'm not gonna lie, the map looks so good. Like, for this patch, right? Like, look at these screenshots. Like, without looking into them, I just know it's good, like, building, but I don't know how it is with gameplay-wise, right? But we're just gonna quickly go over, like, what's officially revealed. There will be, like, a patch note about, like, everything right as the update release, which, you know, I'm making this video earlier, because, well, you know, I did go through the Trello notes, but we're gonna go over that ay 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 after we look at the Twitter post, right? So... First, we'll get like, let's see, well, obviously more maps, more buildings. Then we'll also get some Dark Sea Essence thing. You can reset your magic with this. I think it spawns at range 3, right? Range 3 is, um, was it? Insanity 2, right? If, if I'm correct, or I don't know. I don't know where it spawns, but that's why I remember reading Trello. But you can reset your magic now. Fantastic. You just gotta uh, not die into the dark sea. I do like that a lot. Um, we get a new weapon. You know. Colossal Cleave. This seems broken. I'm just saying. Like, definitely not inspired by One Piece. <laughs> um, but this is really sick. More weather widows. Um. Uh, whenever I have something to do with visual, like, I'm scared of lag, guys. Um, but it's good. It's good for sure. I mean, I like the lightning effect mostly. Because it's mostly, it's the most flashiest. Um, and we get more fortress. Okay, now the important thing about fortress is that I believe you can raid some of them and you get like raid chests. So, more rewards. There's like armor set you can get for killing like one of the raid boss at like four something. The bronze four. I'm not sure if it's four talos, right? Um But we will have to see. And also like a random spawning mini boss, I guess. Evander. He basically spawns around the map like every five minutes as long as you kill him, right? Um, probably we can go to the Nimbus Sea for that, cause Nimbus Sea is small, right? Um, and then besides that, there's a, there was a trailer, right? Was it this one? I'm just gonna skip a little bit, just in case we get, you know, copy touched. Or, uh, I'm not familiar with the music, so... Yep. Oh god. Oh, this one's the trailer. I just skip around. So, yes, we can build, right? Um, I was trying to see if there's like anything special that we can make, right? By building. I mean, obviously, you can make your own sick castle. I like that a lot. But I feel like this is... I'm not really much of a guild guy. I'm not excited for like the guild battle. Like, I like... Like, look at this. This is sick. Like, look at the whirlpool. That's cool. But... I don't know. I'm not really a fan of the guild part. But we... Okay, these are the new locations. Because I thought... I thought these were player-made builds, right? Which could be possible, right? So... We get a fortress. I assume these are Nimbus Seed? Confront, unfamiliar- oh, I guess these are the mini boss, right? So there's more than Evander? New skills... Oh, these are the lost magic, I believe, right? Oh, so we do get- oh, damn. So we do get new gameplay. That's pretty sick. But yeah, okay, I mean... So the most important one is the Empire. Like, building stuff, right? And... Also, the bosses and new spells, right? 
but Trello has I don't know they changed it a lot of things I'm not gonna lie like look at this oh my god I think the most important one would be like the raid system right now right it says finish adding for uh cash room to the bronzy a raidable fortress oh so it's, it's not Fort Talos but going near the fort causes it to fire on your ship and shows the island's name and title and their ability of remaining similar to a health Similar to a boss health bar, you can damage the island by firing with cannons or siege weapon during this stage. The island cannot be land on, right? The fort will always have 60,000 durability. Let's see, how many cannonballs that? Uh, if we use heavy cannonball with like maybe the best cannon, ooh, maybe like a thousand per like shot, right? If we do like. So it's gonna take like 60 shot of heavy cannonballs to kill this fortress, I think. Uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see. So, yeah, when we defeat it, we can land on it. And then you get 60 second timer. Oh, oh, after 60 second timer, waves of Ron Legion soldier begin spawning. Okay, sure. No PvP is complete. Disable for all player while on for cash from oh this is so good yes hell yeah so we can like this is basically like a global server raid i love this this is good so i'm excited for this um i like the raid i'm just gonna skip over because it's just mostly about the system i feel like we could just it's better we explore it right i want to see the reward right now it's gonna say on wave 10 on 10th wave, the mini boss of the fort spawns. General Van Valeri, the Scorching Sentinel, who was ordered to say blah 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 lore. <laughs> so he drops a 1 in 4 chance, so pretty high. Like, like this is the standard for like common bosses. So, I mean, yeah, that's good. We can get Scorching Sentinel armor, so I don't know what they do really. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll have to see. Armor, leggings, helmet, uh, pauldrons, and mask that can be dropped. So two accessory, uh, no, three accessory including helmet and two armor piece. Okay, so like a full set. Yeah. Okay. After the general is defeated, um, the keep store are then open, showing a pile of treasure. So, a, like a loot system. I love this. You know, it's good. Brave rewards will be two modified golden chests and four modified silver chests. Assuming, I guess, these are like what we can open, like in normal game, but except they're special. Sure, I mean, yay. These chests, the chests are inventory items, so each player can get them, and they can be older, open later on if you wish. Oh, so there, maybe you can trade them, like. Oh, this is gonna be meta, dude. Like, new currency, modified chests, right? Like, instead of, like, sending galleons, people will be, like, trading chests. That's good. That's good. Nice, nice, nice. Uh huh, being modified chests, each chest you receive has a random modifier on it when you receive. Oh, shit. Wait. Okay, wait. We get, like, random enchantment? Enhancement? On the items and all item received from the modified chest will have modifier of the chest oh so you can get like a blasted chest yo those things are gonna cost like what a hundred K each right a blasted golden chest right or something uh, like just giving an example right um so we can get all modified besides Atlantean and abyssal like the ocean one and the dark sea modifier basically um okay and chest only chest piece and legging and accessory can be ac received from these modified chests and luck does not affect the content of the chest Ooh. okay so golden gives three item each silver gives two item each not bad not bad i guess maybe they're not worth 100k then or maybe they do i don't know um who knows we'll see and then magic speed affinity of instance C went up. Um, sure, I guess 
and you're buffing like what attack speed on magic even though it was like nerfed from like I think it got nerfed by 30% from like 70 to 40 like effectiveness like like on the Nimbus C update right so yeah there's that I'm gonna skip over what I think is not interesting right like there's a lot of fixes fantastic but we're gonna take way too much time if we read through all of them right let me know if I missed anything guys <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm going to go over like the stat changes right resistant nobody ever used but it has a global 0.5 second period where it is activate during skills well resistant is basically how much percent of the damage you block right like you you get bonus block thing <laughs> my brain can't think of the word right now oh my goodness basically you take less damage if you have resistant when you block so um it got changed a little bit stat efficiency went down by five percent not that much but it is what it is and that's like um and lag i guess hmm i, I don't know i never use resistance so I, I this really doesn't affect me much but the next one is really important if you guys didn't see already like the agility stat change right momentum is now reduced it with more agility way that's bad right yeah so you don't get flung anymore because that's momentum <laughs> can't believe i have to think on that one okay so nerf uh agility effect on regular jump height went from 100 percent to 60 percent oh my god that's huge that's almost 50 percent uh on high jump leap saw air sub technique it went down from it went down 15 percent Oh my god, is this all nerf? Are you kidding me? Rising Tide and Soaring Eagle went down by 40% <clears throat> And then wait, oh this is a buff And then dodge reflexes, right? Or dodges went from 30% to 50% So it's like a 20% increase I'm not sure how this will work Maybe you can dash faster, right? But except like you don't get as much momentum and jump hype. Um, maybe it's bad. I don't know. Like overall, it looks pretty bad. Just because, like, first impression without thinking, really. I feel like. Uh, and then after that, besides the agility nerf, I know there's the intensity changes. If I can find it for you guys, while well, I just explain what it does real quick. Uh oh, never mind. We found Evander like. The mini boss besides the fortress he, i don't think he's in the new fortresses like the raids right but yeah i uh, said this earlier but he spawns in the brown sea oh yeah he will only spawn in the he will only spawn in the bronze sea and then he can spawn an island similar to criminal npc or at sea with his unique ship and then when his sh when he spawned on his ship he'll randomly sail towards a random player in this in the server who has over 50k bounty or notoriety infamy i guess i don't know yeah since he's a bounty hunter okay uh i guess he's either okay yeah so he either spawns an island or he spawns as a ship and goes to a player um and he'll respawn every two minutes after you defeat him wait that's really short I thought it was five. Never mind. Now I'm going crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, intensity be is being changed, right? So I believe it has no. It's no longer gonna affect like knockback for like wind magic. That's the most important part to me. But it will like reduce cooldown, right? Intensity. It will reduce the cooldown of most things. Like your spells, your ultimate spells, just like those stuff in general, and it also like increase the size of the poison cloud and like similar effects, I believe, right? That's why I remember. <laughs> I'm still trying to find it. Did I miss it, guys? Because I swear to God, is there? Oh, please! I just want to double confirm, you know. But there's so much. <laughs> 
Oh. There's so much. Oh my lord, I probably missed it. But yeah, I think that's basically all I wanted to talk about. Uh huh. Unless I have something in mind that I forgot. They did add some like new items, right? Like some new regen for like new effects. But I can't find it right now. There's so many patches, dude. And I think that will be it for the video. We'll just have to wait till like the patch note. Cause some stuff, I don't think they put everything in. I mean, maybe they did, but there's a lot of things. We'll get more like details on release date, which is tomorrow. Anyways, good luck, have fun.